We are here to show you how to correctly wear your Victoria University of Wellington academic dress. Your academic dress will consist of up to three items, a gown, a hood or stole, and a trencher. There are various combinations of these, and this short video will show you the most common combinations. Firstly, we have the undergraduate gown. This slips onto your arms and pulls up so that the gathers sit on your shoulders. You must ensure that your hands go through the slits in the sleeves. If your gown does not have slits, simply have your hands out of the ends of the sleeves. Your hood goes over your head with a flat coloured oblong panel against your back. For gentlemen wearing a tie, you would lift the tie over the top of the black triangle. This will hold it in place. To help position the hood, lift the corner, place down against the back and fold over the tip of the hood. The last item is your trencher. You won't be putting this on until your qualification is conferred during the ceremony, but when the time is right, this is how you wear it. Short peak at the front, and long peak at the back. The trencher sits flat on your head so it runs parallel to the ground. There are no rules at Victoria relating to the side that the tassel hangs. For ladies or gentlemen without a tie, a safety pin may be required. We recommend that you use one pin on each side. Gently pin the hood to your gown. You must pin through the black neck strap of the hood. Do not pin through the satin. After sitting, it is important when you stand to gently reposition your academic dress. You are now ready to walk across the stage. If you are graduating with masters, your dress will be slightly different. For your gown, your arms must go through the slits at the elbow. The next item will be your stole or hood, depending on your qualification. The master's hood has no fur and is worn the same way as the bachelor's hood. The stole sits around your neck and hangs down the front of your gown. If you are graduating with a PhD, you will have a master's gown, a red stole and Knox bonnet. The Knox bonnet has a seam in the band which always goes at the back of your head. Embellishing your graduation regalia with garments of honour from your cultural tradition, such as a korowai or taovala, is a welcome enrichment to the colour of the ceremony. These garments are worn under your hood or stole. When you arrive at the Michael Fowler Centre, there will be a Dress Me desk available on the ground floor to assist you if needed. We look forward to seeing you at graduation.